Hey beauties and welcome back to Beauties World. Today we're gonna be doing another hack video and it's gonna be one that's really, really weird. We're gonna be lighting our foundation up with fire. It's supposed to give you the most flawless look ever, so we're gonna go ahead and test that out. So if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, become a part of the Beauty Bandit Squad. If any of you are easily offended, make sure you click off this video. I'll have a little list right here. You can check out one of those videos, but if you're not easily offended, let's go ahead and have some fun. And of course, this video is all fun and games. It's nothing serious. We're just having fun. This is what my channel is all about, having fun with makeup. Just testing out new ways to apply it, just doing new things and just having fun with you guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So these are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your foundation, a spoon, and of course, fire. If you don't have a lighter and you just have matches, of course you can just light a candle and use the flame on that. Of course, not a candle that's this low. Something that's all the way up here that you can really use. You guys, I could definitely see this method working because, you know, back in the day I used to heat up my makeup, my little uh, eyeliners from the dollar store. I used to heat that up and, you know, make it a more creamier application. So I can see it working with foundation too. So hopefully this is gonna work. I am rooting for this. Children, don't do this at home, okay? <laughs> you probably will burn yourself. All right, so we're just gonna add our foundation. Ooh. Cooking it up, cooking it up. Taking Makeup Junkie to a whole nother level. Cooking my foundation so I can bake my face. I'm literally addicted to makeup. I'm just gonna swirl it around so that it doesn't burn. So keep it swirling, keep it swirling. I can already see the steam. And make sure you're careful with the spoon. It's gonna be very hot. Do you guys see that? I see it cooking. You see that? It's cooking, it's cooking. I think that's about all I need right there. I'm not gonna put it on my face right now because that's probably too hot. Looks like boo-boo. Now you're gonna wanna test it and make sure it's not too hot for your face. Make sure you don't touch the metal and burn your fingers. So, ooh, that feels good. Ooh, it's really good. I'm gonna apply it on my hands first. Make sure it's not too hot for my face and that feels really good. And that's already blending out really nicely. Can I see that? It feels good. Hmm, let me do a comparison for you guys. Let's check out how it is with the normal. So this one is a thicker consistency, of course. This is without the fire, this is with the fire. The color definitely changed, the texture changed. So yeah, I like both. If you wanna thin it out, definitely heat it up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the face. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Feels good. Definitely be good on a cold day. I love this brush. This is a Haku Koto. I think that's how you say it. Let's see, 24 karat gold brush. I love the bristles on this. It gives a flawless coverage already on top of this hack. That is very full coverage. So there it is. That is the, the foundation that's been heated up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this brush off and we're gonna go in with some normal one. Put it on the back of my hand and just dab, dab, dab. We're gonna go on this side. I mean, so far I like that the um, the foundation was heated because this is cold and it is a cold day in Atlanta. So I guess, you know, the little things count. Definitely count. What are you guys thinking so far? as you see me applying the makeup. Which one do you like better so far? So far, I'm definitely telling the difference with the color. You can definitely see a big difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this side is a little bit darker to me. 
I don't know if I'm tricking myself right now, but I think cooking it definitely changed the formula in the foundation. So, yeah. Here's the side that we use the um, fire on, and this is the side we did it. I can clearly see a difference here where we came in. This side is a little bit deeper than this side, and I'm kind of messing it up. Um, you know what, you guys? I am liking this side much better. So, so far, you guys, I am liking the hack. Like, this side kind of looks a little more oily, a little darker. This one gave a fuller coverage. I don't know. I'm really liking that side. And you, could, you guys can see. Which one? This is the hack. This is the normal side. Side by side. Which one, you guys? I'm gonna leave a poll right here. Let me know which side you think is better. But I'm starting to think that this hack is definitely a hack. Wow. So whoever knew cooking your foundation will make your skin flawless. Like, look at that. Look at that. I am really, really enjoying this. Wow. So you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you try this hack, make sure you tag me. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know how your experiment went. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in my next video.